Good morning everyone, Treasure Troller here from the mask wearing palm tree growing militant state of uh, Michigan. Okay, so we're not in Michigan. We are down in Florida. So we'll talk about the, uh, I was going to vlog during the trip down, but it was just too miserable. It was absolutely miserable. So I had to work all night. And unfortunately, my flight wasn't until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I got out of work at like 6 in the morning. Went over to the Grand Rapids area. Oh, that's cool. Went over to the Grand Rapids area. Uh, did a little thing at Planet Fitness. Got the nice shower. Didn't want to be stinky on the flight. And uh, had some breakfast. Got over to the airport. And the flight, I don't know why they do this. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But you fly from Grand Rapids to Newark. And... The flight going there was pretty cool. I was sitting next to a young lady from uh, a uh, Asian lady, age 25 to 45, and she worked at Amazon in Manhattan, and so on the web services side. It was pretty interesting talking to her. Um, but we get into Newark now. This is like, like I said, uh, I had breakfast, so it must have been about eight o'clock in the morning. And I had a very short layover in Newark. And so I thought I'd eat in at Newark. And they wanted like $20 for a fucking hamburger. So no, Treasure Troller's not going to pay $20 for a hamburger. But uh, I didn't uh, I didn't want to be running to the bathroom either. So I wasn't drinking much. So, you know, they wanted five, six bucks for a drink. Treasure Troller's not paying five or $6 for a glass of pop. And it's pop. It's not soda, it's not Coke, it's pop. You want something to drink? Yeah, I'll have a pop. Uh, what do you want? Uh, give me a Coke. Okay, it's pop. So, we get on the flight from Newark to Orlando. And I'm tired, I've been up all day, I'm just effing tired, I'm miserable, I'm hungry. Um... I want something to drink. We get in the plane. They pull us out. I guess I guess you'd call it on the tarmac. They're doing their their pre-checks, and then all of a sudden, they pull us back into the uh, I don't know the dock or whatever you want to call it. There's a lady on the plane that cannot go with us. Why? I don't know, it was very unclear. She wasn't, like, causing a fit or anything. Um, but it took them, like, a half hour to convince her to get off the plane. So now the flight's delayed for, like, a half hour. And I'm tired and I'm hungry. Did I mention that? So we get up in the air and the uh, the snack provided on this flight was a... Uh, a little bag of pretzels, which amounted to like maybe a handful of pretzels. So I had a handful of pretzels, and this is this would be about uh, I don't know seven o'clock at night. So it's been like twelve hours of not eating, except for a handful of pretzels. I did get a pop. I got a diet coke. So then we land in Orlando, and if that isn't enough misery, <laughs> fuck, the fun's just starting. So partly my fault, it's not entirely, uh, but I went with a, uh, I wasn't paying attention. It was a, uh, I ended up getting a off the site car rental company. I didn't realize it was off the site. So, you know, you're walking up and down the car rental thing. You find out that it's off site. You have to jump in a shuttle. And of course they have to go to all the terminals to get you there. Okay, so now I get over to the car rental place. And then, of course, this is where the fucking really starts. So, of course, you know, car insurance. So, uh, he goes, well, you know, you have car insurance? And I said, yeah, I, 
well, I need to see your declaration. So I showed him my proof of insurance. No, this is not a declaration. And your car is not a 2000, I don't know. I forget what this is, maybe a 20. So if it's not a 2020. So then, you know, you had to, you had to get car insurance. You want the standard, the, like the basic, the a little bit above basic or the premium. It's up to you, you know. Well, I'll take the basic. Oh, okay, if you want the basic. So then, of course, comes the toll. So they're, they're just so gracious enough to uh, throw a $30, uh, like, I guess down here is called Sun Pass. So they're, they're gracious enough to throw a, a $30 Sun Pass on the car. So if you go through tolls, I go, I won't be going through tolls. I'm going to be riding in. So are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, okay, because it's an administrative fee if you like go through a toll. And I I wasn't I wasn't thinking I was too tired, too hungry, and too miserable. I wasn't thinking straight. And um, I, why the fuck didn't you just go? You know, I was, after I got to the hotel, I go, well, why the fuck if you're gonna have to do it, why don't you just pay it? Why don't you just go through the pay booth? That's just stupid. So, anyways, I go fuck it. I'm just not gonna worry about it. It's thirty dollars. So. We're not done yet. So, of course, the car turns out to be much more expensive than uh, I thought. Probably ends up being two or three times more. But that wasn't quite as bad as I forgot to say. The Grand Rapids uh, long, uh, long stay parking is like 20 bucks a day. 20 fucking dollars a day to park your car. It's just fucking unreal. So then I get to, I go, you know, the only thing left that could be right is the hotel. Get to the hotel. Well, there's two hotels under the name of this one I'm staying at. So, of course, I go to the wrong one first. So then I get to the second one, the right one. Finally, I'm at my hotel. It's like 1030 at night. And... I'm miserable, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. But the good thing is it's right on International Drive, right across the street. It's a couple places to eat. No big deal. I, I wanted to walk anyways. I didn't want to like get back in a car and fucking try to drive at night, really not knowing where you're going. So I, I go to the wrong one first. I get to the right one, standing in line, and unfortunately, you know, now there's a line. It's like fucking 10... 30 at night and there's a line of a few people so finally get up to the guy and um well apparently the way i booked it i didn't pay for the hotel room no sir you oh no you didn't do that i go well why wouldn't you guys do that why would i come here to find out i needed to you know that's what the whole point of going on priceline is is to fucking book a hotel room and you pay for all this shit, just like I paid for my plane ticket. So anyways, of course, there's a little Rico Suave in there where, oh, and of course, sir, we added the $50 incidental fee. What the fuck incidentals could I possibly ring up at this place? He said, oh, well, you know, you get it back in a couple of days. Just like the $500 deposit on the car rental. Yeah, I forgot to mention that one. Of course, you they'll gladly refund it, you know, once you return the vehicle. So, and then, of course, the last thing I said to the guy was, he goes, oh, and sir, the uh, breakfast is not included in in the uh, the cost of your room. And I, and I just kind of said, well, why would it be? So, finally, we get the room, we get in the room, and it's... Um, it's a very, very average room. If It's like, for me, if all you need is a freaking shower and a bed, it's great. But um, I certainly, if I came down to Florida to be spending money, that's the last place we'll, uh, uh, I would stay. It's, it's a very outdated building. 
So now the the building is uh, so we okay. So we get in the room and I decide to go eat. Now it's like eleven o'clock at night now. Where what's right across the street, <laughs> motherfucker? It's a New York pizza. Well, let's try. Let's try because you know the pizza probably at that freaking uh, Newark place that probably would have been about fifty bucks. So I walk in the door. Hey, you here for pickup? And I go, No, I'm gonna order. Oh no, sorry, sir. We close in five minutes. So I couldn't eat. I had to walk down to what was a labeled a uh, supermarket, which was nothing more than a uh, souvenir store with a couple of items in the back. I mean, they wanted three bucks for like a rami and bowl of noodles, one of those uh, noodle ones that you put the water in, uh, kind of like the bowl. You take the top off, put the water in. Three bucks for that. So. Um, what probably five times the three to three to four times the usual cost. So the only thing I could get was a package of Swiss cheese. So last night I had uh, I had, I bought some pop, some Diet Pepsi, and I had a bottle of Diet Pepsi and a package of cheese for dinner and that's all I had until this morning and of course the anxiety thing came in because um <laughs> I was afraid you know I was gonna wake up because I was so tired and I woke up uh, I had my alarm set for 7 30 and I woke up at 6 and I saw 6 o'clock and I thought holy shit I slept all the way till Monday night at 6 o'clock I was almost 8 I'm no, it's going on six. I thought it was eight. It was almost six. Uh, holy shit, I overslept. And uh, so I got up early, fought this miserable Orlando traffic. Why people want to live in this town anymore, I don't know. This is just insane down here. And I went over and had my breakfast. I'll post the places and stuff that I stayed and ate at. Um, car company and shit like that. Places that you could avoid. But it was a really, really good breakfast. So things are starting out a little bit better today. I didn't oversleep. And I had a really good breakfast. So that's it. Treasure Troller saying aloha, good day, and uh, it's nice to be out of the snow.